What's up, Star Wars fans? I want to talk about Season 3 of The Bad Batch. That's right, after that amazing season finale yesterday, let's talk Season 3 of The Bad Batch. And right away, I want to make a bold prediction. It's not going to be Hunter, Wrecker, and Echo that save Omega, Crosshair, and Nalise. No, I think Hunter, Wrecker, and Echo are going to be very determined to track down those three. They're going to be learning everything they can about the Advanced Science Division and the location of its base, but ultimately, I don't think it's going to be enough. As Dr. Hemlock stated in the finale of Season 2, Wayland, as we know it, on Mount Tantus is a very well-kept secret, and even with the help of Rex, I I don't think the Batch are going to be able to track down its location. Now, what I think is going to happen is that Omega is going to leak that information to the Bad Batch without Dr. Hemlock or the Empire knowing about it. I mean, just think about it. Omega is one of the main characters of this story. For the target demographic of the show, she is the main character. And Dave Filoni and the others behind this great show aren't going to have Omega be some sort of passive prisoner that is simply going to be rescued by her father figures. No, I think think we gotta give more credit to Omega and the writers than that. Plus, think about all the resources that Omega has at the Wayland base. She is a very convincing, persuasive, and tenacious character. She's going to be able to convince Crosshair, her newfound sister, and Nalase all to help her escape. Not to mention, think about all the other clones that are being brought to Wayland. The secret science division is going to be crawling with clones that all want to escape as well. So I think there's a really good chance that Omega saves herself. That her and the others are able to escape Wayland completely independently or with some help from Rex, Hunter, and the boys. Now that prediction out of the way, I also have another bold prediction and that is Hunter, Wrecker, and Echo will show signs of sliding to the dark side. They're not going to embrace the dark side of course, but there's a very good chance that they're going to have some dark side moments. I mean just think about it, they're going to be desperate to find Omega and they're going to do whatever they can to hunt her down, and along the way, I think that's going to lead to some very poor choices. Remember also that in the first two seasons of this show, Omega was very much the moral compass of the group. And without Omega around, again, I think Wrecker, Tech, and Echo, they're going to be making some bad choices in desperation to try and find Omega. So there's a good chance that they're going to do jobs for some sketchy people, all in the hopes of tracking down the information they need about the advanced science division, or simply when they're working for Rex, they might commit some atrocities, again, as they're trying to find that information about the advanced science division's base. Whether it's questionable tactics, trying to get information out of fellow clones or stormtroopers, I think Hunter, Wrecker, and Echo may all find themselves taking a step too far. And if I had to pinpoint it, I think Hunter is probably going to be the one that's most affected, and therefore is probably the one that is going to be crossing the line the most. But that all said, I think it's time for a softball prediction, and that is the Omega storyline. Well, that's going to be handled very much like the Crosshair story in Season 1 and 2. We're going to have entire episodes where we don't see Omega at all. And then we'll have episodes specifically showing Omega, Crosshair, and what they're up to at Mount Tantus. I think there's a really good chance that not only is that side of the story going to be very dark, as basically Dr. Hemlock is a mad scientist going to be experimenting on clones, but also as I've already described, I think the Hunter, Wrecker, and Echo storyline, well that has a lot of potential to be quite dark as well. But that all said, I just have time for one more bold prediction, and that is that unfortunately season 3 is going to be the last season of The Bad Batch. I think the third season of the show is going to be a slow build up to the eventual escape of Omega, but of course it's not just going to be the escape of Omega. Omega is going to inspire not only Crosshair and her sister, but also the mini clones that are found at the Wayland base. When it is time for them to escape, I think it's going to be a full-on clone rebellion. And there's a good chance that Hunter and the boys will be coordinating things outside of Mount Tantus so that their attack can coordinate alongside this rebellion within. And remember, if this does all happen, Dr. Hemlock told us in Season 2 that the cloning that he's working on and the work that's being done by the advanced science division at Mount Tantus, well that's all very important to the Emperor. And if it's all very important to the Emperor, then when this attack and rebellion start, 
at Wayland, then there is just one individual that the Emperor is going to send to make things right. Wouldn't it be interesting to see Rex, Hunter, and the boys facing off against Anakin Skywalker, aka Darth Vader? I think that's how Season 3 ends, I think that's how this series ends, but hey, that's just my crazy speculation. Let me know what you think in the comments below. As always, I'm Mike, and remember, the Force will be with you always.